Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rymotive JT. I got to tell you a little story today. I just came from the inspection station, the state, I guess, inspection, inspection station here. And if you're not familiar with that, here in Texas, every year, unless you buy a new car, and then it's two years after that, you get to take your car in and have it inspected before you can renew the vehicle registration. So, I took the Jeep Gladiator in today to have it inspected because I am due for a new inspection registration tag, rather. And, by the way, the cost of it here, $7. It costs $7. I would prefer the state, because they've talked about it, just got rid of it all together and just charged me an extra $7 for my registration. Because you know it's all about money, right? But then you think about all these little inspection stations everywhere and all the money they be losing, right? So that's why they don't do it. Although making seven bucks a car, I don't know how much money they make anyway. I'm sure that's not all profit for them. So anyway, on with the story. I have my front two windows tinted. You may need notice me squinting a little bit more than usual. I'm a squinter anyway. But I have my windows tinted when I went in. And of course, it wasn't legal, and I knew this. I knew this anyway, because it was at 26%, I think it was supposed to be, or something like that. However, keep in mind that the windows come from the factory with a tent in them anyway. So when you put on 26%, you have to add to it what the windows are already tinted, right? So they measured it, which is, and I don't fault these guys at all. Don't get me wrong. This is the law. They're doing what they are charged to do, what they're supposed to do. So they put their inspection gauge on there. It's just a little thing that fits over your window to check what the tent percentage was because that's part of the process. It's what they have to do. And my window tent came back at 15%. 15%. Legal, I'm told, is 25. So I'm 10%, I guess, above what legal is supposed to be. So I have a choice then. They won't pass the car because they can't because it didn't pass inspection. So I can either have the tent removed. I could do it myself. I could have taken it home, done it myself, went back. I had to wait 10, 15, 20 minutes to get it inspected to begin with. And I'm an impatient person, so I'm not gonna do that. So I asked the guy, I said, hey, do you do that here? Can you remove it? And then will you pass it for inspection? And he said, yes, of course. So there's a guy that happened to be there that does that kind of thing. So he ripped the tent off the windows. That was a little painful because I did like the tent. I mean, it keeps me from squinting. I'm a little light sensitive. It keeps me from squinting and it looks great on the vehicle. I mean, I love the look of it on the truck anyway. So he ripped it all off and of course, tent does have a little bit of adhesive on it. So he did it the right way. This guy's really good, by the way. Um, he did it the right way, took the adhesive off. It cost me 15 bucks. Not too bad since it would probably cost you anywhere from, I don't know, 45 to 60 bucks or more if you went to a tent shop to have it done. And then of course, you've got to schedule an appointment, go in, wait till they get you in. I mean, just a whole long drawn out thing. So I'm very glad that the guy was there that would do it. And by the way, this fella, uh, runs a uh, uh, paint correction or ceramic coating business here in Deep South Texas. If you want to know who they are, leave a comment. I'll let you know if you happen to be in Deep South Texas and you're interested. I saw a lot of pictures of his work and uh, wow, he does a really good job. Pricing seemed to be good on this truck to me. So anyway, let me know. I'm not sponsored by him or anything. But uh, I had to have the tent removed. Now I have to make a decision. I could have a legal tent put on, um, but I would still need to make sure that I stay below the legal limit, obviously, or I'll run into the same problem again. And it's 25%. So if I was even at 26 or 27, or rather it's the other way around, you know, 23, 22, just a couple percent less or even 1% less, depending on how strict the shop is that you're going to, I'd run into the same thing again. So, you know, if I can't have it as dark as I want it, then I'm not sure there's a reason to have it at all. 
and I'm thinking at this point, I'm probably just going to leave it alone, leave it stock, and uh, we won't do anything with it. Now, that brings up another point, and maybe my mom is watching this video, I don't know, and you're wondering, well, why does your mom care what percent you have? Well, because on the Jeep Gladiator that we swapped for, she has my old, which was her original Jeep Gladiator, I had the windows tinted. Uh, and they're tinted at the same percentage, I believe, 26%, plus the window tent itself. You're looking at probably the same situation. In other words, it's probably running at about 15%. So I am assuming that when she has to take hers in, because she lives in Texas as well, that when she has to take hers in, she's gonna run into the same problem and that she's gonna have to have the tent removed which she didn't put on, so it's not like she's out anything. But she's gonna have to have the tent removed the same way that I did. So I guess I'll give her a heads up. She can make that decision. And honestly, I don't think she's a big fan of the window tent anyway. So losing it on her truck probably wouldn't be that big of a deal. I don't know, but we'll definitely let her know. And I'll let you know if you're curious in a future video what she decided to do. So make sure you comment going forward you know, a few videos from now, uh, what she decided to do, and I'll tell you. Anyway, that uh, that's the scoop, that's my story. The key here, if you live in an inspection state, is to beware. I mean, it costs 135 bucks, I think, for the one that I did before. Uh, so you're gonna be out 135 bucks or more, depending on what uh, flavor tent you go with, if you have your windows tented. Now, one other thing I do want to bring up, even if you don't live in a, an inspection state like I do, there still are typically, I don't think there are any states that don't have legal limits for window tent. So it could happen that you're, you get pulled over, because I don't think it's generally a primary offense, but you can get pulled over for something, speeding, tail light out, burned out headlight, whatever it is. And the cop may decide that he's going to test your tent because I think they all carry those little gauges now. It's a great way for the state to make money. And they're gonna fine you for it. Or they're going to give you a remove order. And if you don't, then they'll fine you for it. And you probably still have to remove it anyway. So just beware, as cool as it looks on the vehicle, you know, it's really not worth the hassle once, uh, once you encounter uh, a cop or an inspection station like I did and you have to have it removed. Leave a comment, let me know. If you've got window tent or had window tent that was a bit darker, did you run into that yourself? Did you end up having to have it removed? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive, all about the Toyota Tacoma with tinted windows and Mod Driven, all about the Honda Civic, which also has tinted windows, although they came that way from CarMax. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? And while you're at it, smash the subscribe button here too. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.